Hey YouTube, Jason here. Um, got a little video for you today. This is going to be called Spanking Your Tomatoes or Smacking Your Tomatoes. I haven't really decided yet. But you'll see on the title. So, anyway, first off, basil. If you haven't grown basil, it smells amazing. But over anyway, over here. All right. Basically, if you're wanting your tomatoes to grow good and strong, have a good thick stalk, see how this one's getting a pretty good sized stalk, basically all I do is I'll come in and I'll flick it. Just flick it a couple times up and down the stem and it kind of imitates what the, what the sun would do. You know, I've even been known to do it with my seedlings and it just makes makes them naturally want to grow to withstand that that pressure so I'll, I'll smack them a little bit you know this one here it's kinda of growing a little leggy so it could use it but this is probably the youngest tomato plant I've got well never mind I, I just transplanted a beef steak this morning and I got my Captain Lucky so not the youngest tomato I got but it's the leggiest I've got my pink ox hearts all I do is I flick them a little bit you know as they get bigger then I can flick them a little bit harder I even do it to my to my pepper plants now back over to the box here you know even the basil basil you can do it too here here's a tree do it to that and what it's gonna do is it's gonna make the the stem it's gonna beef up you know it's gonna get fatter so it can take so it can withstand all that pressure but there you go and even there's a little quick little update this is my first get in there so you can see it there beefsteak and I just planted a banana melon this morning so I'm gonna see how that does inside I'm running low on seeds <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, that's that's all I do. I was talking to a few people the other night, and the question came up, you know, how do I keep my sunflowers from from falling over? And I just kind of pulled out a, a trick out of my bag. You know, this is what I do with my tomatoes. I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm anywhere else. And I do it to all of them, all I, I don't really flick them every day, but you know if if they're kind of drooping over, you know that's a good sign that you might want to try doing it a little more often. So just a little idea, uh, something you can do. So while I got John here, I'm going to show you something else I got going. Uh, well, nothing exciting, but I've got two Polish linguises planted. I got one more beefsteak in there that hasn't sprouted yet. I had I had one that freaked out, so it's it's been transplanted this morning. And I got a blue marker, which is for an OSU blue, and a red cherry, which is for a Praxis cherry. So I got two seeds of each planted, with exception to to one beefsteak. So anyway. That's that's all I have today. Just wanted to show you, you know, a little quick little trick to beef up the stocks on your plants. So, anyway, have a great day.